guys, good morning. What is freaking out, you guys? It is Tuesday, May 4th, and I just finished doing my nails. Look how cute these are. I'm absolutely obsessed with my nails today. They took me four hours to do. So today is actually Zoe's birthday. Zoe's been having an amazing day today, and Adeline and I decided we're gonna go on a little date together with our babies and have like a joint birthday party for the kids. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Adeline and I have Zoe and Blue, and our dogs are actual sisters, like from the same litter and everything, and they're turning four. I'm so excited about that. I cannot believe she's getting so freaking old. Like, it makes me sad that she's getting older. She's had an amazing day with Matt and I. Matt took her on a really long walk, and now I'm going to take her on a little date. We're going to go to Cheesecake Factory. Oh, no. Am I running out of my favorite primer? I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It, like, went viral everywhere, and I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Guys, I did the fastest makeup and outfit change, literally, I've ever done. Here is today's outfit. This top is from Princess Polly. This dress, I think it might be Princess Polly. This I purchased off of Amazon, one of the best purchases ever. I just don't wear it that often. And then I have these shoes from Revolve. Super cute. But yeah, that's today's outfit. But I'm just wearing these earrings that I literally got super cheap for like $5. And yeah, that's it. All right, let's head it up. I'm super late. All right, so we're on our way to Adeline's right now. She's like maybe 15 minutes away from me. She's super close. Zoe is with me. I wish I had like a little doggy seatbelt for Zoe, but she just loves like watching the outside world. Like is literally on my lap watching me and I'm driving safely and holding her the entire time. So she's like not flailing all about. <laughs> Zoe's so excited. Happy birthday. Say hi to your sister. You didn't even care you, for her. Oh my god, I got I got Zoe a present. You did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get blue a no, present. It's, it's for a picture. You'll see. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Brianna is living in LA. Oh my so god. Good. Oh my god. You guys haven't seen her since the Big Bear. Big Bear vlog trip. So I just put Zoe in her little birthday outfit. She's wearing a Fendi sweater. Don't worry, it is fake. I would not spend. I would spend that type of money on Zoe, just not for a dog outfit. It barely fits her, but she actually got it for Christmas last year. Zoe is better dressed than me. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my god. Yeah. Hi guys. Zoe and Blue, a gift. I want the vlog to see. <laughs> ready? Yes. It looks so cute. Oh shit. It's a little hat. <gasps> It literally stays on. It's such a good hat. Like these bitches were fucking fifteen dollars, but it was worth. Are every you penny. kidding for a fucking birthday hat? But it was worth every penny because it's like it's so cute. This is so. Wait, can I show them up close? Oh, it's so little. Yeah. That's more expensive than a human hat. Sit, Trying to get this sit, on Joey. We'll sit, see if this happens. Sit, 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 sit. Oh. Uh -uh, sit. Leave it. Leave it. Whoa. Uh uh. Wait. Leave it. Huh. Ah. Let me put your hat on. <laughs> I put it on her. I put it on her. Oh, so cute. Wait, go. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh my god, it stays on so well. That's what I'm saying. I'm shocked. They literally don't mind it at all. That's what I'm saying. They don't care. So Zoe's wearing Fendi and Blue's about to wear some Supreme Louis Vuitton jacket. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, but you're walking way too fast. <laughs> This is amazing. All right, take two. <laughs> Ooh. All right, guys, a little update here. We stopped by Cheesecake Factory and they said it was an hour wait, so we we're just waiting in the house. And Adeline and I took some family photos and they turned out so freaking cute. Guys, life hack. What? If you want your dog to look at the camera, get oh, another wait. phone and play squeaky dog sound effects and they'll look exactly right at the camera. It literally worked too well. Some of the photos we took, oh, white cloth. <laughs> We're starting early. Um, these are some of the photos that we took. These are so cute. My nipples or my bra was showing in some of these photos, not gonna lie. Oh no! Like, oh, no! Literally, literally, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so I'm really hungry right now and Adeline showed me her snack drawer and <laughs> Guess what I found? One of my favorite freaking snacks as a kid ever. It's these burger. Andre made fun of me for getting those. SpongeBob burger things. But they're the best. These are so good. I cannot believe you have these. They're so random. All right, what else we have? We have some Oreos. We got Cheez-Its in here as well. All right, I don't want to take all her candy. Oh my God, you have candy. Oh my God. 
Okay, so we're also gonna eat these. All right. Hell yeah, those are my favorite high snacks. Those are fucking so good. This is an amazing ass snack drawer. If I was to rate a snack drawer, 10 out of 10. Oh my God, thank you. I wish it was a little bit more organized, but we'll focus on it later. They're so fun. Oh it's just fun to eat. Okay, kind of cute. Definitely not as good as I remembered, but still eating them. Wanna do a little cheers together? <laughs> cheers! <laughs> All right, we're breaking up this drinking session to show you guys Bree's room. So she's showing me the before. She's doing like a huge makeover to this room because this room was kind of a mess, right? Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I, I got it not in the best condition. <laughs> so what is all this on the floor? So that I just ripped off of this wall, which kind of left even more. Oh my damage. God. Yeah. No. Oh my. Why was that even on the wall? That's so weird. And then the carpet's like the worst part. I don't know if we can tell in this lighting, but like, wait. Oh my God. No, I can totally tell. Yeah, like, what was on the floor? Floor. Uh, I think like wooden planks were like glued or something to the ground. Wait, there you can see it. Oh my god, <laughs> she literally glued hardwood floors to the carpet? Yeah. Is this all your furniture though? Uh, no, this came, so this is all Adeline's, that bench is mine. Oh my god, that bench is so cute. Thank you. But then, yeah, that's all my stuff in the boxes that needs to... Oh, cute! All these plants are yours? Mm -hmm. This is... Oh my god, I cannot wait to actually decorate. It's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be so freaking cute. I can already see it. Oh my god. It's like a hole above the bed. Like, oh like... my god. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Brie, <laughs> this is also oh my god, free. it looks like a frat house. This is also glued on. I don't really know. What is this? this? I don't know. Brie, you literally are living in a frat house room. I'm so excited to see. <laughs> oh my god, it's sticky. It's sticky. Okay. I'm like, okay, at least the content's gonna be good. Like, the room transformation will hit. Oh my god, 100%. Wait, is this all more wallpaper yeah, that was so that added needs on? needs to be ripped off. And then I don't know if I, I might take this off. I'm like debating. What's underneath it? Just white? Uh, yeah. Like you can look at it. Oh, you can see right there. Oh, that one's corner. cuter. You think I should do that? Yeah, cause this I was just looks scared. like a bad job. Yeah, I, and with this, I was just scared that it would like ruin the wood. Wait, what? Yeah, that's this all. This is all fake too? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like literally everything. Oh, everything is fake. <laughs> Holy shit. Table's ready. I just got home. It's like 1 a.m. now and I had an amazing day with Adeline and Brianna and Zoe's having an amazing birthday. She's so thirsty. They're literally playing fetch at the house for so long. Shark is so curious why her sister was gone all day long. Um, but I'm gonna call it a night. I'm so dead tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, bye. Good morning vlog, it's the next day. Literally, Zoe, I thought was gonna sleep in till like 11 a.m., but she only slept like eight hours, which is what she normally does, but she had such a fun day yesterday. Right now, Callie is about to be here, so I gotta clean up this mess that I made yesterday doing my nails. Honestly, I cannot get over how cute my nails are. I'm like absolutely obsessed with them. Also, I did the most perfect cow print on these nails. You can't tell me those are not perfect. Hey guys, Callie is here right now, but I just, ah, I am so pissed off. I need to close the door because I don't want Matt to hear this, even though he's heard it a million times already. <laughs> guys, I am extremely upset. As you guys know, yesterday I freaking spent the entire day with Zoe and with Blue, and literally the entire time, Adeline and I were just talking about how much we love our dogs. We're just so fucking thankful that we have dogs and we don't fucking deserve dogs. Hey guys, it is the next day right now and I looked over my footage of me talking about the Dan and Nikki Philippi situation and I realized 
I was just all over the place and I was really really upset and I wanted to form my sentences and thoughts in a more cohesive tone because I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to attack them although I am very upset and so disgusted at what they did. If you guys don't know the backstory, Dan Philippi and Nikki Philippi are a YouTube couple that have been on the internet for at least 10 years now. So if you don't know, over the weekend, Dan and Nikki Philippi decided to put down their healthy nine-year-old bull terrier named Bowser because Bowser bit Logan on the face. That sounds really bad, and I understand that it's probably very traumatizing for Logan, but let's just talk about why Bowser even bit Logan in the first place. Bowser bit Logan on the face because Logan, who is a toddler, decided to take food away from Bowser while Bowser was eating it. I've heard rumors that he actually took food out of Bowser's mouth. I don't know if that is entirely true, but I think I do know more back history information than most people do because Nikki Philippi used to be managed by the same management company that managed me. And I'm still with them and Nikki Philippi is no longer with them. Bowser was never given the proper training to handle the situation that he was in and honestly, I feel so fucking bad for Bowser. Like he was not given the proper love, care, attention, or exercise. One of the things that dogs do get aggressive about are their food. And luckily for me, I knew going into it when I got Zoe, who was my dog, who's four years old, that when she was a puppy, I was gonna make sure she wasn't gonna have any forms of food aggression. But when Zoe was a puppy, I would constantly have my hand in her food bowl. I would constantly ask her to stop eating, tell her to sit and make sure she knew that she could not bite the hand that fed her. I really don't know what the point of Nikki Philippi doing a photo shoot with her dog that she was going to put down was, other than she was hoping that she was going to get some form of sympathy, and I have no sympathy for her. Nikki Philippi decided to private her own Instagram account because she's been getting so much hate and backlash for what she did to Bowser, because Bowser did not deserve this at all. Constantly throughout the video, she was saying that Bowser was her angel, it was the child she never had before Logan came around, and instead of treating Bowser like her child, she treated Bowser like a plaything, an object. Even in her caption, she had said, you have been a part of our life and are part of our content. Why would you ever say he was a part of your content unless that was something you actively thought about? You actively made sure Bowser was in your videos for the content so you can make money. And I know damn well from going through her past Instagram photos that I stupidly did not screenshot, she got paid having Bowser. She did multiple sponsorships with Bowser, using Bowser as a way to get paid. Honestly, I was so upset when I first initially saw her Instagram post and I was like, okay, let me just give her the benefit of the doubt because sometimes I personally am terrible with words and terrible explaining my thought process behind doing things I've done in the past. I totally get it. So I was like, okay, they're posting a 25 minute YouTube video. Let me just watch this and maybe I'll have some form of sympathy or grief for them. And no, if you guys watch this video, you guys will see exactly why everyone is so pissed off at this entire thing because the entire time they did not really have a good explanation as to why they didn't go through with rehoming Bowser or training Bowser. Now I know damn well from just knowing her by behind the scenes, she had so many opportunities to actually put Bowser through a training camp and just never fucking did it. She just never did it. And I understand if money was a problem, money was not a problem with them. They could have used the money they got off of Bowser in sponsorships to put him through the necessary training that he needed. They even made a little joke that Bowser stayed so clean because he wasn't allowed outside. And it was like, well, no shit, he's gonna have aggression problems if he's not getting the proper exercise. This is my theory, that the reason they actually put Bowser down right now is because they're moving. In the video, if you watch it, they said that they're actually in the process of moving. And they thought it was such a funny, such a funny coinky dink that Bowser acted up during the times they were looking to move and they're like, well, this is actually kind of convenient because rehoming Bowser would have been such a headache and a hassle for us. So instead of actually putting in the work and trying to find a home for Bowser, they decided to just kill him. And what's crazy is that they were like, yeah, professionals were telling us that we can't put Bowser in another home because Bowser's too old. Do you know how many old dogs are put up for adoption and find beautiful second homes? There are so many no-kill dog shelters as well. There are so many other 
things you could do. Logan was honestly teasing Bowser. They even said that Logan would scream at Bowser. Bowser was actually the one diffusing the situation because they said Bowser would be sitting at one corner of the house, Logan would go up to him, then Bowser would physically huff and puff, but he would leave the situation. Clearly, Bowser understood that he could not be aggressive with Logan, but they never once taught Logan how to react or to interact with Bowser, which is so upsetting. And what's even more disgusting was that Dan wanted to physically shoot and kill Bowser himself. He said, I was inspired by Old Yeller and I wanted to take Bowser by the nape of his neck and take him into the backyard. After this entire fiasco scenario drama happened, instead of taking the criticism and sitting with it and being like, you guys, I'm so sorry we did this. We apologize for what happened. No, 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 no. Instead, they said, we're gonna block everyone who has anything negative to say. Dan, I honestly felt bad for it until I watched that video and saw all the jokes he was saying. He literally put in his Instagram caption, dog murderer, allegedly and on top of that was tweeting out misogynistic tweets at women so on twitter someone said i'm in shock to have a dog for nine years and euthanize him because it got it got to be too much or too complicated for whatever the reason is there are options dan philippi responded back by saying does your husband know you are using the internet as if women belong in the fucking kitchen no we fucking don't Ugh. i don't know i just feel like i have so many thoughts i'm just so upset and i can honestly nitpick every single thing they said in that video because everything they said just seemed so wrong and so off. The fact that at the very end of the video, Nikki Philippi was talking about her favorite things of Bowser and they were all physical attributes. None of it were personality traits. It was like, I loved your teeth. I loved your little painted toe. I loved your tail. She did not once talk about his personality, his character, his traits. It was just all physical attributes that she said she was going to miss. If you are going to get a pet, realize that you have to be a responsible pet owner, which means you're responsible for training your dog, spending money on your dog, taking care of your dog, and making sure that the people you surround yourself with understand your dog's personality and needs. And I will say, in the words of Nikki, she even said Bowser was not being aggressive, he was being defensive because Logan was taking food from Bowser and Bowser left Logan a little mark on his face and the craziest thing is that she decided to make a photo shoot and Logan was sitting next to Bowser I'm gonna use a photo where Logan's face is crossed out because I just don't want to show other kids photos but Logan was right next to Bowser and Bowser seemed fine with it they even said that Bowser was fine with Logan it would come up to Logan with a wagging tail and lick food off of Logan's face there are more things I can say but I also want you guys to form your own opinion and watch this video yourself and I'm not gonna lie this just made me more upset was the fact that originally they actually had ads on this video and they took it off Bowser had every opportunity to learn better and he was never given the opportunity to learn better Dan and Nikki if you guys are watching this I'm honestly so disgusted at the situation and I hope you realize that what you did is not okay and the craziest thing is is you still have another dog named Zoe which just hits home for me because I have a a dog named Zoe and never in a million years could I imagine putting Zoe down. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are hugging your dogs and loved ones and pets right now. If you guys ever need to put your dog up for adoption, that's okay. Honestly, I respect that more than putting your dog down. But yeah, that is it with today's video. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm just so upset. Um, but I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Hey, you the best part of every single day Oh, no matter what I do I'll be lost in you